Hey everyone, it's Bob Perkins with AAISP's Inside Sales Studio, bringing you the very first Monday Morning Sales Minute of 2017. We're here with Antarctic Mike. Mike, how are you doing today? I'm well. Thanks for having me, Bob. You know, those of you viewing this that know Mike, uh, know that you've seen him at some of the AISP events. He's been a keynote speaker, a presenter. It's great to have him in support of the association. But if you ha if you don't know Mike and you're wondering why he's wearing that cold weather jacket, he's not in Minnesota, he's in San Diego, <laughs> but he's got some great stories about his own achievement on the uh, continent of Antarctica. But today he's going to share some stories about some old explorers that try to get to the South Pole, and he's going to bring it to life with some leadership examples. Mike, go ahead and share your tip today. The first one I want to share with you, uh, for sales managers specifically, is how to manage salespeople's activity. Okay, activity is the key to getting better results because what people sell is a direct reflection of actually what they did. And I want to reference this story right here. It's a race to the South Pole between two parties. Robert Scott, over here on this side of the card, led the British team. Roald Amundsen led the Norwegian team. The bottom line is the Norwegian team won the race. These guys not only lost the race, but on the return journey, all five people on the British side died. And when you look at the differences between the two teams, they go on and on and on. In fact, it's the subject of a new book I'm writing right now called Selling at 90 Below Zero. But the one difference I want to highlight for this tip here is the difference in the activity of the two teams. The, the activity on the Norwegian side, which is a team that not only won the race, but everybody lived, the activity was very consistent. Every single day, no matter what the weather, they averaged between 15 and 20 miles a day. Contrast that with the British side. The activity patterns were very erratic and reactive based on weather. In other words, when the weather was really terrible, they wouldn't go anywhere. When the weather was great, they'd go forever. And they were like this on their activity. And I think about this as a metaphor, and I think about how this applies to the activity of salespeople. The bottom line is, if you show me a sales rep that has inconsistent selling results, you're looking at a sales rep that has inconsistent patterns of selling activity. In other words, it's so important, you know, every day you have to think about not only what did your reps do today, but what can they do today that they can replicate tomorrow, the next day, the next day, next week, and next month. In other words, I want to make sure that my people are very consistent in their activities every day. Because if they're consistent in their activities every day, the chances they're going to be consistent in the results go up significantly. It reminds me uh, of preparing for a marathon. You, you don't go out and say, hey, I'm going to run 15 miles on Monday and then I'll get ready for 25. You need to do three or four a day, then build up slowly. But you got to be consistent, right? Is that? Absolutely. Think about people that lift weights, people who lose weight or invest money. It's the consistency of the activity, whether it's the saving the money, the lifting the weights or whatever it is, that really ends up determining how strong somebody is X number of years later, or how much money they've actually saved. That's great. Uh, so sales reps out there and managers, if you're viewing this, don't wait to the middle of the month to ramp up your, your, you know, your outbounds or your, your uh, calling efforts or prospecting efforts. Get at it right away. Mike, you even mentioned, uh, especially coming off a big win, sometimes people take a break, but they shouldn't. Necessarily. No, the best time to really keep the activity going is when you've actually had a big sale or a big month yeah. because you've got momentum. Yeah. And I always say it's a lot easier to keep the momentum you have than to regenerate momentum that you don't have or that you lose. Fantastic. Here we are, the, the very first week in January 2017. What a great time to put this principle to work. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Mike will be back. This is a mini series. He's back for week two. Then week three, next Monday, he's going to be talking about leadership by example, but something you may not realize with leading by example. So, Mike, we'll look forward to seeing you next Monday. Thank you. So, until then, everyone, Bob Perkins signing off from Inside Sales Studio. Have a great week. Good selling. Bye-bye.